Bose Sound Sport 3, truly wireless earphones. All right, let's get this unboxing on. Unlike a lot of my videos, this review comes a few months after the release of this product, but a chance visit to the tax-free tech haven that is Andorra, as part of a world tour I'm doing with my family, check the vlog on this channel, uh, I was persuaded to make a purchase. Oh. As you can see, the packaging doesn't disappoint. There's not a lot to the SoundSport freeze, the usual paperwork, no USB-C, which is a real shame, three sizes of silicon buds. You get five hours battery performance from the earphones themselves, plus two additional charges from the case and a very handy 15 minute quick charge that offers 45 minutes listening. There's no question I definitely made the right choice going for the black. I love that charcoaly black sci-fi noir aesthetic. It's just, it's so appealing. The Bose Connect app offers a super slick user experience. Setup is an absolute breeze. Again though, not much to report, no bonus functionality other than the Find My Buds feature, which is cool. Uh, that aids you in identifying the last known location of your mislaid earphones. I use mainly Spotify for tunes and CastBox for podcasts. You can control their volume in the apps or in Bose's own Connect app. And so, a little field test in the rugged outdoors surrounding Andorra La Bella. So we've come to the edge of the mountains above Andorra. It could well be the perfect environment to check out the Bose because there's a little bit of cycling required, a little bit of running, a little bit of elevation. Are you up for this, Jackson? Yep. Let's do this. I cycle and run a lot, and I find that wide earphones generally get tangled or swing themselves loose. You should be able to see from these shots that while the vibration from the stone pathway makes its way up into my ears, the Boses stay firmly in place. I can honestly say that for the hour and a half that we did this test, what Bose calls their stay here plus silicon buds didn't break their seal with the ridge of my outer ear and remain secure and comfortable. Controls wise, you have just three buttons on the right earphone. A multi-function button between the plus and minus for volume and very limited functionality, play, pause, skip track, take and end calls, etc. I'd much prefer gestural taps or swipes to repeated button pushing, but you can activate voice control via the multi-function button, which I guess provides some customization. A brief stop over here to test the 15 minute quick charge. Quick point to note, they are water and sweat resistant to the IPX4 standard, thanks to a water repellent mesh. Okay, charge topped up and ready for a quick run. And a chance to mention the all important sound quality. First up, they are loud. I'm happy with about 90% full volume. On their website, Bose mentioned that they've put a lot into the in-house signal processing algorithms for the SoundSport Freeze. I'd say they have what I'd refer to as a refined sound signature, a rich, smooth, detailed bass response, spacious, clean mid-range, and sweet, clear high frequencies. This is always gonna be subjective, but I really like the way they sound. My main complaint is with latency. It's an issue with many wireless earphones, not just these, but if you require any form of real-time lip sync from, say, a YouTube video, the SoundSport Freeze sport are next to useless. In a nutshell, what Bose have produced here is a set of secure, comfortable, truly wireless earphones for the active user with a premium quality design and sound performance that matches an equally premium price point. I wish they had more customization options, less latency and a touch interface rather than buttons, but none of those factors for me detract from the upgrade in sound quality and comfort that the Bose SoundSport free wireless earphones represent. I hope you enjoyed the review. As you can see, we're now in the considerably warmer south of France, having left Andorra a week ago, where I did that first unboxing and test. And I've got to say, I've been wearing these things 
every day. I absolutely love them. I'm never taking them out. But what do you think? Maybe you hate them. Perhaps you've got a better, cheaper alternative. That is what the comment section of this YouTube channel is for. I'm genuinely interested in what you've got to say. Let's start the debate. And while you're at it, why not click that like button and subscribe? That way you'll be the first to hear when all the cool tech reviews I've got planned hit the channel. Thanks for watching.